Hello, viewers, and welcome to a chilling exploration into the twisted narrative of a criminal whose heinous acts earned him the ominous moniker, the Duct Tape Killer. Today, we delve into the disturbing tale of Robert Leroy Anderson, a name that sends shivers down the spine of those acquainted with the macabre details of his crimes. Join us as we unravel the dark beginnings and delve into the shocking events that earned Anderson his notorious title. From his elusive demeanor to the gruesome methods employed, this is a journey into the heart of darkness. Brace yourselves for the unsettling story of the duct tape killer. It's the horrifying story of convicted serial killer Robert Leroy Anderson, who kidnapped and murdered two area women more than 20 years ago, a third managed to escape. Many believe Anderson, who was sentenced to death row, would have killed more women had he not been caught. In the mid-1990s, a man by the name of Robert Leroy Anderson stalked, kidnapped and killed two area women, both who were married and had young children. Their names were Larissa Dumansky and Piper Strail. But as you'll find out in the new book, Duct Tape Killer, Anderson wanted more. Robert Leroy Anderson was pure evil, Phil Hammond said. He was kind of like a Ted Bundy, he put across one personality to his family and he was able to carry that off, making people think that he was a good person and in reality he was more of a Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde, he was one person to the people who knew him and somebody else entirely different, Sandy Hammond said. Phil and Sandy Hammond co-authored the book, Duct Tape Killer. Duct Tape Killer was kind of Robert Lee Anderson's signature, he used duct tape in a variety of ways in his crimes, author Phil Hammond said. Even though the cases were highly publicized on the nightly news, they say readers will find new details, never heard before, about Anderson's heinous crimes. They also found various forms of homemade tire poppers, which he tried using to and disable vehicles on the highway. He also disguised his truck with black temper paint that could be washed off easily, so if there were any witnesses, they wouldn't be able to give an accurate description of the vehicle he was driving. Anderson's Ford Bronco Robert Leroy Anderson was the duct tape killer. But the evidence didn't stop there though. The evidence we had indicated Mrs. Dumansky was bound with duct tape as part of the abduction and died as a result of being suffocated having duct tape wrapped around her head. Investigators believe Strail, whose body was never found, was kidnapped and killed in the same manner. The Hammond say Long was a big help in writing the book. It made it much easier to write the story because he's just a wealth of information, and then Phil usually writes the first draft, and I can polish it, and I always want to add more and then he says no to keep the book of readable length, because we want people, even people who aren't avid readers to be able to read the book, Sandy said, the one shocking thing they learned through their research was that Anderson was not a dumb criminal. They indicated they were going to write about this topic and they wanted me to provide the background for them and the factual basis, I provided the facts and reviewed the documents and reviewed the drafts they had written and rewrote some of it myself, I primarily was their fact checker, Long said. Some of those facts that came out after a two-year investigation revealed Anderson had some of Dumansky's jewelry hidden in his mother's house. As we reach the conclusion of this unsettling journey into the life of the duct tape killer, Robert Leroy Anderson, the chilling details of his crimes linger in our thoughts. If you found this exploration both haunting and enlightening, please take a moment to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more gripping insights into true crime stories. Your support allows us to continue shedding light on the darkest corners of human behavior. Thank you for joining us on this disturbing exploration, and until next time, stay vigilant, stay informed.